Hi, I'm Todd Pappy, game director at God of War Ascension. What you're about to see is a making of video that we've been shooting over about two plus years. It gives you a good idea of the inception of an idea all the way through to the final product. Keep in mind that this is a work in progress. Enjoy. My goal for this game is basically the same leap that we went from God of War 2 to God of War 3 from an art standpoint. We're trying to push that in a design standpoint. You need a vertical drop down so that the player that's left there can't run back. We're gonna evolve it. We're not gonna stick with the same thing that we did in the last game. We're gonna try to evolve, we're gonna pick a new thing. It's very challenging for us and we're gonna try to make it awesome. This time the games are prequels, so Kratos will be younger. So maybe his fighting style might be a little bit rougher. We wanna definitely show a different side of him. We would like to make the world moving as opposed to static. We're also changing the player mechanics a little bit. To be able to consistently break new ground with each God of War title, is always exciting and to be fronting this with Todd is going to be great. We always challenge the industry and hopefully we're able to do that again with this title. I could look at something and I know how I want it to feel versus looking at something and knowing how I want it to look. From an art standpoint, I will rely heavier on the art director and the guys that have been doing it for years and years. You know, they're the masters. Todd and I really get each other. We're very comfortable with each other. We're not, you know, afraid to call bullshit on each other. So we're pretty honest with each other, which I think is good. But at the same time, we trust each other. You are kind of talking about maybe doing kind of spikes. So I don't know, maybe I was like, Looks a little bit bigger, kind of like a lion's tail and kind of ties in with the spikes on his head or something. This is my first time art directing. It's a huge task, something I don't take lightly. It's pretty intimidating and daunting, especially with the caliber of artists we have at the studio. And these guys are just, everyone just knows their craft so well. It's, it's been a humbling experience. I think the main thing is I just facilitate making the game come together and letting all the artists kind of do what they do best. I think probably the biggest challenge I face is kind of continuing this legacy of making great looking games from the guys on the original God of War 1 to Stig taking over as art direction on God of War 2, Ken Feldman taking over as art direction on God of War 3. There's huge shoes to fill, you know, those guys just done an amazing job. It's just trying to you know, make sure I've got all the bases covered and I'm really kind of living up to the legacy of what we've done in the studio. The goal is always the same. It's like you want to create a, it's basically a kick-ass game. You want to create a game that you yourself would have fun playing. It's the biggest challenge of each weapon is making it work with the chain blade. The difference between the previous God of Wars and this game in terms of the weapons, there's a sword, there's a club, spear, shield, and a sling. And these are all taken from the goats because they carry those weapons. And when you kill them, they drop the weapon, you have the choice to pick it up. And you use those weapons in conjunction with your blades. So that's kind of the challenge of the design, trying to get the blades to work with five different kind of weapons that aren't really his weapons, but they become his weapons when he picks them up. So you could, you could still swing the blades like you do with square or triangle. But if you press circle now, you could use the weapon you just picked up. So that becomes part of your arsenal. That weapon's a club, like a beating stick, knock the opponent into left field pretty much. So the spear is mainly a projectile weapon. You don't really do any melee with it. It's purely a long range. But you're also allowed to combo with the blades is what we call weapon finishers. So if you're doing like a blade combo, and then you press the world weapon button, you will do like a specific world weapon kind of finisher like that. Sometimes the ghosts go into these kneeling positions. That's when I could grab them and do certain CS moves on them. So that's the change in this game. The grunt characters actually go into stun states where I could do specific grabs depending on the stun state that they're in. The fact that Kratos is younger, it'll allow us to explore different abilities, different moves that he has that he didn't have in the original trilogy, so we can have the chance to, to show a different side of Kratos. We have a layering system, which is being worked on and developed. It's going to allow us to be able to create animations in a much easier way. This is the Cyclops walking by this awesome statue of Aphrodite. As you can see, he's kind of ignoring her. Now, even though it's the same animation of him walking, he's kind of looking at her. This is the actual layer that was put on top of the regular walk, which is this walk. And by combining the new layer on top of this walk, this is the end result, which is 
still moving forward, but now he's kind of looking and noticing her. So that kind of detail is going to be able to be put throughout the game this time around. One of the most exciting things that we're working on are new sets of navigations. Before you would climb the wall, and it was kind of always had to be this kind of flat wall. But now we want to be able to create a more of an organic environment that Kratos can interact with. So he's going to be able to sort of climb through these cracks on the walls. Another new exciting thing that we're working on is you can now slide down the wall. But we're going to make it this kind of adrenaline, high action moment. 